Optimism is the idea that things and life improves over time. Traditionally, Americans have been some of the most optimistic people on the earth. Optimism is a good thing, and optimistic people reap several benefits over time. Some of the benefits of being optimistic is, over time, you will be less depressed, have better health, and have higher academic achievement than if you are a pessimist. Wow, that's cool. The downside of being a pessimist, and there are many, include more depression, passivity, and more feelings of helplessness. I'll pass on all that. Thank you very much. Can you learn optimism? Yes, of course you can. Like all good things, it takes work and practice. But with practice, you can inoculate yourself to some degree against depression and pessimism. Practice these steps the next time a stressful or difficult event occurs in your life. 1. Don't believe the first thing that pops in your head. Test it first. For example, you walk into a room and you see your friends whispering and making funny faces. The first thought that pops into your head is they are whispering terrible things about you, and this makes you angry. Or the first thought in your head is that your friends don't like you, and you are a loser, and you walk off withdrawn and depressed again. Remember, your first thought in your head, it could be wrong, and probably is. Two, so slow down before you react. Like, calmly talk and ask questions before you overreact. To test is always best. Three, problem solve. Is there really a problem between you and your friends? And if there is, then talk it out. Try humor. Lighten up! Use it statements like, It really hurts when you talk about me behind my back. Be assertive. Being passive can lead to pessimism and depression. And then four, set a goal. Opportunity favors the prepared mind. For example, what will you do the next time you're in a similar stressful situation with like friends? Would you like it to happen this differently? This time? How about next time? Set a goal. Make a plan. And then remember, research has demonstrated that the number one roadblock to optimism is not genetics, not childhood experiences, not lack of opportunity, or even wealth. The principal obstacle to being optimistic is your cognitive style, or how you think about yourself and the world you live in. So change thought and change your life. And dare I say it, change the world. Give it a try.